Greetings and welcome to part three of my tobacco grow in the Western Cape. We've had a very mixed bag of weather for the last couple of weeks. We had some warm days and then a thunderstorm and some colder days, and lots and lots and lots of wind. And this morning was the first time in a long time that the wind had died down. It was absolutely beautiful, not a breath of wind. Uh, but I didn't want to smoke a cigar first thing in the morning. Now is the perfect time to smoke a cigar. And of course the wind is back. And the cat is back. Say hello. <laughs> You're a funny cat. Anyway, on with the show. I'm going to try and enjoy my cigar. While uh, you guys go and check out the plants. It is windy again. It is windy again. So windy. Why is it always windy? Day 40 for the tobacco plants. And some of them have stopped growing completely. Like this one never took off. So a little Dutch. But the rest of them, as you can see, are getting nice and big and strong. Some of them are a bit smaller, but they're still growing. So I'll keep an eye on them, but I don't think they've stalled completely. These ones are a bit smaller, but I think they're still growing. They're still growing just at a slower rate, for whatever reason. And here's one I think has stopped. It's a Habana 2000. Now I did mention I've reused some of the the peat mix from I think with these ones it was the Habana 2000. So all these other ones, like underneath this one for example, is another plant that popped up. It's also Habana 2000. But with this one nicely established, I don't really want to dig this one out to replace this one because I think I may damage the roots of the bigger one, so I'm just going to pinch it off. There are a few smaller ones that have popped up here and there. There's another one hiding away. So I think what I will do is replace it, this one, and this one, with some mystery plants. Now here I have a little avocado tree. It's not a tree yet, I'm going to just call it a plant. But I was digging through my compost heap and I kept finding avocado seeds that I had tossed out which had started to sprout. Now because they were sort of underground, the sprout was very white and delicate. And it's very difficult to get the white, delicate sprouts to harden off without shriveling up and dying. So this one, I um, gave it a lot of thought, covered it over with a, a half bottle, and I kept the interior of this bottle as moist as possible. And this windowsill doesn't get a lot of sunshine, so it uh, doesn't get too hot. And it managed to harden off, and it's sprouted lots of leaves, so it's looking very good. I'm very pleased with this little avocado. Um, and the bottom, I reused the, the grow mix from the failed bottle experiments with the tobacco. We have some mystery plants. And uh, some of them are looking in pretty good shape. Now the avo's roots should be a lot deeper than the tobacco, so I think I can successfully take a couple of these plants out to replace the, the ones in the windowsill that are not growing so well. And here's another pot with a couple of mystery plants. So I'm spoiled for choice, and I have no idea what tobacco strain these are. I won't be able to tell until the plants have fully matured, but then hopefully I will be able to tell, because Little Dutch is but smaller than the, the Criollo and the Habana and the Havana. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to tell the other strains apart, but with a bit of luck, I will. 
and then the mystery plant will not be a mystery anymore. So I think that's what I'll do. All right, so I took one from this pot and I took another one from this pot. So here we have two mystery plants, labeled M for mystery. A mystery that we will probably solve at a later date. These plants are getting thirsty. So all I do is pour some water into the the trays and water them from the bottom. Flies are becoming hassle. Go away, go away, go away. All right, this is a spring water bottle, but it's not spring water, I assure you. It's just water from the tap. And since we're on a farm, that tap water comes from a dam. And the dam water comes from a river. So this will probably be Hex River water or Breda River water. Or a combination of both. Okay. I think this will do them for a day or two. So they say the soil should feel like a moist sponge cake. It is spongy, a little bit dry on top, which is why I'm giving them water. I'm sure by the end of the day, it will feel a lot more moist. There we go. Die. So I'm kind of wondering when the ash is going to fall off this. It's a good solid inch and a half on there. So uh, thanks for stopping by. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next video. Yes, Kitsy Witsy? What? Would you like to say goodbye to the viewers as well? Well, come on then. Yes, no, no, yes, no, maybe. The camera's still rolling.